Melchim Rishon, 1 Kings 18. And it came to pass, after many days, that the word of Yahuwah came to Eliyahu in the third year, saying, Go, show yourself unto Achav, and I will send rain upon the earth. And Eliyahu went to show himself unto Achav, and there was a sore famine in Shomoron. And Achav called Ovadah Yahu, rather Ovad Yahu, which was the governor of his house. Now Ovad Yahu feared at Yahuwah greatly, for it was so when Isabel cut off at the prophets of Yahuwah that Ovad Yahu took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And Achav said unto Ovad Yahu, Go into the land, unto all fountains of water, and unto all brooks. Perchance we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided at the land between them to pass throughout it. Achav went one way by himself, and Ovad Yahu went another way by himself. And as Ovid Yahu was in the way, behold, Eliyahu met him, and he knew him, and fell on his face, and said, Are you that my lord Eliyahu? And he answered him, I am. Go tell your lord, behold, Eliyahu is here. And he said, What have I sinned? that you would deliver at your servant unto the hand of Achav to slay me. As Yahuwah Eloheka lives, there is no nation or kingdom whither my Lord has not sent to seek you. And when they said, He is not there, he took an oath of eth the kingdom and eth the nation, that they found you not. And now you say, Go, tell your Lord, Behold, Eliyahu is here, and it shall come to pass, as soon as I am gone from you, that the Ruach Yahuwah shall carry you whither I know not. And so, when I come and tell Achav, and he cannot find you, he shall slay me. But I, your servant, fear at Yahuwah from my mouth, rather from my youth. Was it not told, my Lord, eth? what I did when Isabel slew at the prophets of Yahuwah, how I hid a hundred men of Yahuwah's prophets by fifty in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. And now you say, Go, tell your Lord, behold, Eliyahu is here, and he shall slay me. And Eliyahu said, As Yahuwah Sevaot lives, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him today. So Oved Yahu went to meet Achav and told him, and Achav went to meet Eliyahu. And it came to pass, when Achav saw Eth Eliyahu, that Achav said unto him, Are you he that troubles Yashadael? And he answered, I have not troubled Eth Yashadael, but you and your father's house in that ye have forsaken eth the commandments of Yahuwah, and you have followed Balaim. Now therefore send, and gather to me eth all Yashadael unto Mount Carmel, and eth the prophets of Baal four hundred and fifty, and the prophets of Asherah four hundred, which eat at Isabel's table. So Achav sent unto all the children of Yashadael, and gathered at the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Eliyahu came unto the, all the people, and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If Yahuwah be Elohim, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Then said Eliyahu unto the people, I even I only remain a prophet of Yahuwah, but Baal's prophets are four hundred and fifty men. 
Let them therefore give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, and cut it in pieces, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under, and I will dress at the other bullock, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And call ye on the name of your Elohim, and I will call on the name of Yahuwah. And the Elohim that answers by fire, let him be Elohim. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. And Eliyahu said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourselves, and dress it first, for ye are many. And call on the name of your Elohim, but put no fire under. And they took at the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Eliyahu mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is an Elohim. Either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or perchance he sleeps and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lancets, till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass, when midday was past, and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice, nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. And Eliyahu said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired at the altar of Yahuwah that was broken down. And Eliyahu took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Yaakov, unto whom the word of Yahuwah came, saying, Yashedael shall be your name. And with eth the stones he built an altar in the name of Yahuwah, and he made a trench about the altar, as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put eth the wood in order, and cut eth the bullock in pieces, and laid him on the wood, and said, Fill four barrels with water, and pour it on the burnt sacrifice, and on the wood. And he said, Do it the second time. And they did it the second time. And he said, Do it the third time. And they did it the third time. And the water ran round about the altar, and he filled at the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Eliyahu the prophet came near and said, Yahuwah Elohai of Avraham, Yitzhach, and of Yashedael, let it be known this day that you are Elohim in Yashedael, and that I am your servant, and that I have done at all these things at your word. Hear me, O Yahuwah, hear me, that this people may know that you are Yahuwah Elohim, and that you have turned at their heart back again. Then the fire of Yahuwah fell, and consumed eth the burnt sacrifice, and eth the wood, and eth the stones, and eth the dust, and licked up eth the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and they said, Yahuwah, he is Elohim, Yahuwah. He is Elohim. And Eliyahu said unto them, Take eth the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape. And they took them, and Eliyahu brought them down to the brook Kishon, and slew them there. And Eliyahu said unto Ahav, Get you up and drink, 
for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Achav went up to eat and to drink, and Eliyahu went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth, and put his face between his knees, and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again, seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, say unto Achav, Prepare your chariot and get you down, that the rain stop you not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heavens were black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain and Achav rode and went to Yisrael. And the hand of Yahuwah was on Eliyahu, and he girded up his loins and ran before Achav to the entrance of Yisrael.